Wow, what have I done? Look at this thing. Simon, I need you to do my intro. Is, is, that, okay? is that okay? <laughs> He's clawing at my microphone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Simon is biting my finger. Uh, in the past on this vlog channel, I have built the world's biggest Lego mansions. The two-story Lego house with the merchandise store and the gaming lounge area is completely set up. And I've built the tallest of the tallest towers. Go, go. Oh no, hold on. Oh! But you know, it's been a while since we've built a box fort, something with boxes. And to be honest, the last couple box forts I've built on this channel were kind of sad. Oh, I'm in, I'm in. Oh, oh wow. no, your wow. box fort! In today's video, I am redeeming myself and we're going to build the world's smallest box fort and here are all our materials right here. We're gonna build this box fort right about here. We got all the boxes. We've got a mini fridge, a monitor, a computer, some LED lights as well. You guys and Simon, you're probably like, excuse me, unspeakable, but how are you gonna build the world's smallest box fort with a mini fridge and a giant computer inside of it? Well, just you wait, just you wait. There's, a, there's another cat. Hello, Simba. You just woke up. This is seriously gonna be, wow, that was a, that was a good snap. I, I don't think I can, I, I don't think I can do that again. Trust me guys when I say this is gonna be the world's smallest box fort because all of those items are actually not going to be inside of the box fort. You guys will see what I'm talking about when we start building it. Definitely be sure to watch till the end of the video because in this video, obviously we're building this whole entire thing and at the end, we're gonna showcase it. And if you don't watch till the end, then what's the point of watching the video, honestly? Enough talking, let's start building. Step number one to a box fort is of course the, the, the boxes. Yeah, yeah, the boxes. We got all our boxes right here in this giant box right here. And then I got some rolls of duct tape as well that we're gonna be using to put everything together. Ooh. Okay, so how exactly are we gonna do this? One, two, three, and we got four. There we go. That's it. All right, we're done. That, that's the end of that. <laughs> Let's go ahead and tape all this together, and we'll definitely have to add a roof to it, windows, and a door. Everything is duct taped, even on the inside. We duct taped everything so it's all secure. Simon doesn't look secure, does it? I'll take that as a yes. Now you guys are probably curious and speak, well how are you gonna fit this in what? My idea for this is we're gonna make cutouts for the monitor and the refrigerator. We'll make a cutout right here and we'll put the monitor, but most of the monitor will be sticking on the outside. From the inside, you're only gonna see the screen. Same thing with the mini fridge and the computer as well. It will be sticking in just a little bit to where you can press the power button and access some of the USB ports. <laughs> Well, I gotta find me a pair of scissors. Guys, check it out. We got the mini fridge in and it's secure and you can open it and <laughs> look at that. So I think what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do the monitor. We're pretty much gonna do the same thing we did here with the fridge, but the monitor is gonna be right there. The PC is gonna be like here on the side and the PC is gonna be sticking in a little bit. So like I said, you can access the power button right here and the USB ports and any other ports you need. That is gonna be cool. And then we'll do a roof on top and then we'll work on these LED lightings. We'll do LED lights around the monitor. And if we have enough, hopefully we can do some around the fridge and around the whole entire roof. I'm honestly so excited for this. This is so cool. Before we get any further into this vlog, I need you guys real quickly to hit that like button, but not only that. If that subscribe button is red and you haven't clicked it yet, you need to because I plan to do more box fort videos on the channel. So if you're enjoying this one so far, I promise they're only gonna get crazier because this is the world's smallest box fort. Just wait till we build the world's biggest box fort. Everything is coming together so nicely. We got the PC in here, we got the monitor. The monitor was a little bit of an issue because we actually had to use coasters to prop it up because this base was so long, if we were to leave it flat, the monitor, instead of it being here where the boxes are, it would actually be like back here. Unless we were to force this through here, but I figured it'd just be easier. Nice little coasters come in handy considering I never use them. It's looking sick. We're about to hook everything up, hook up the mini fridge, hook up the monitor because this thing needs to start getting cold for all of our drinks. With all these awesome boxes, YouTube, actually sent me an awesome box as well and I figured I would open it for you guys because I just got it in the mail. So this box is massive. I have no idea what's in here, but let's go ahead and open it up. What the heck is that? Congratulations on an incredible year. Here's to many more. YouTube holiday gift. What is this? Oh my gosh, is this a suitcase? No flipping, whoa! Unspeakable gaming. What the heck, look at this. Okay, this is sick, wait. <gasps> Oh my gosh, that's not a sticker. That's like, that's like painted on there. Whoa. Okay, I gotta take this thing out and put it over here. Hold on. This is so sick. Check this thing out. Wow. Okay, so there's a letter on the back. Go ahead and take this off. 
There we go. Oh my gosh, okay. Hey there, each video you upload, each comment you love, and each person that clicks that red subscribe button all play a part, big and small, in the place we share called YouTube. That's right, you guys need to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. That was so nice! Okay, so I just read the whole entire thing. If you guys wanna read it, you can, but it was, it was pretty long. Basically, YouTube just saying thank you for everything and all the passion and you know work you put into your videos. Happy holidays from Meg and YouTube Gaming. Thank you, Megan and YouTube Gaming. This is so sick. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I gotta open this thing up. There might be more goodies inside. I actually thought this red thing was a part of the suitcase, but no, it's just like wrapping. Oh, I like these zippers. They're super, super smooth. Go ahead and open this thing up. Oh my gosh, this is nice. What is this? Sharing is caring. That's why we crafted some postcards for you to share with your fans. What? Whoa, look at all these stickers. OMG, Master of Floss. YouTube, check this out. Enjoy the journey. Wow, these are so cool. Oh, I got a nickname tag, that's pretty cool. We got some other ones over here. These are so, so sick. Now these are really cool, don't get me wrong, but I gotta share these with you guys. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do it yet, but I wanna give all these away to you guys, all these stickers. There's so many of them. There's so many, oh my gosh, look at all of these. YouTube! <laughs> I definitely want to give away all these stickers to you guys. Now, I, I have no idea how I'm going to do it yet, but just stay tuned in the future vlogs. I'll give you guys some more information on how you can win these stickers, but I definitely want to give them away because sharing is caring, and I want you guys to have all these stickers. So you guys can be a part of YouTube history and the Unspeakable channel. But anyways, thank you so much, YouTube. That was so nice of you. Thank you, YouTube Gaming. That was so cool. But back to the box fort here. Back to the vlog. But seriously, guys, stay tuned. Keep watching the vlogs because I'll have some information on how you guys can win those stickers. <laughs> Oh, this thing is looking sick. What have we built here? A little bit of an update. I've done a couple things. I have carved out, oh, Simon. I've carved out a door here. So this is going to be our door for the entrance. Kind of flimsy right now because we don't have the roof on. Speaking of the roof, these are going to be our panels right here that we're pretty much just going to lay over like that. And also we got the computer all hooked up here. It looks so sick. It's like nice and like, honestly, like modern on the inside because it's all white. It, it's cool, it's cool. The only things we have left to do is we pretty much have to put the roof on. We also have to do the light. Lighting. So we have these kind of RGB lighting strips and then we need to lay down some type of carpet or blanket because you know sitting on tile is uh, nah Nah, not happening. I was actually gonna use this gummy chair. This thing is so sick, look at this. It's a chair that looks like a gummy bear and I was gonna put it in here, however, it is way too big. This thing across is about like 41 or 42 inches and I measured this across and it's like 25 inches, so <laughs> yeah. We'll definitely have to use this on another video for sure though. Maybe we'll put it in a Lego house or a bigger box fort, I'm not really sure. The cool thing about this box fort is there's no cables anywhere because all of the cables are hidden behind and outside of the box. So it just makes everything looks so much more clean. And also the fridge is getting cold. It's pretty cold in there now. We'll have to fill that up with some drinks. But all right, cue the time lapse. Just about 25 minutes later, the whole entire thing is 100% complete. Are you guys ready to see it? Let's go inside. Wow, what have I done? Seriously, look, just look at this thing. Guys, this is ridiculous. This is probably the ultimate world's smallest box fort in the history of box forts. Maybe, maybe not. There might be some other pretty epic ones out there, but th this is this is pretty epic. Considering this only took me about an hour and a half to do everything, but let's go ahead and hop inside here. Oh, so it is very tiny in here, very cozy. Let's go ahead and close our door here. There we go, we kinda gotta grab it from the bottom of the side to close it, there we go. Okay, so we are in inside. Oh my gosh. Fortnite is currently updating. It's at uh, 78%. So we're on Epic Games right now, but let me give you guys a, a little bit of a tour of uh, the world's smallest box fort. Right off the bat, right in front of you, we have a 27 inch, 165 hertz monitor. This thing is an absolute beast. And right below it, we have our PC that pretty much powers everything. We have a Titan XP in there powered by an i7 processor and 32 gigabytes of RGB RAM. Moving down from the PC, we have a wireless keyboard, which is uh, currently dead. That's uh, why it's plugged in. Sorry. We also have a wireless mouse as well. And then this whole entire thing is kind of a lap 
pad. Unfortunately, the problem with this setup, and one thing that I didn't think about, is this thing is actually longer than the box for it itself. So in order for us to play, we're gonna have to play sideways. So we might have to get a new keyboard because I, I can't fit this thing. I would literally have to open the door up and play it like this. Yeah, that's uh, that's something I didn't really think about, unfortunately. But that can easily be fixed just by getting a smaller keyboard and maybe not so wide of a mouse pad. But that is a little bit unfortunate. And then if we move on to this giant box right here, you guys are probably like, what the heck is this? Well, you guys probably already know if you watch the vlog. If we go ahead and open this up, this is our mini fridge. So in here, we have a couple Red Bulls and we also have the Franks. Oh yeah, the Franks Red Hot. So if we're eating anything in here, that is going on it. There we go, that's so sick. We literally just have a mini fridge. Like, you know, we're playing some video games, you know, just mini fridge. Another way to solve the keyboard problem is we could easily just get a controller. I have a couple Xbox controllers that I can just hook up to my computer. So we could just play Fortnite and games from the controller instead of the keyboard. That would definitely solve the issue. Moving on to the lights, we have RGB lights going around the whole entire place, except for this side. So actually they're going around about half the place. They go all the way over here. This is about 65 inches of RGB lights. And then we have the remote right here strapped to the wall. We can go through a ton of different settings. We can change it to just yellow. I personally like this because it's very bright. It's kind of like a white light. We can go red, green, blue, white. Oh, there's white. Oh, I didn't know there was a white option. My bad. Orange, yellow, and purple. And then there's a couple other options. Like we have, oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. If we want to have a crazy party in here, that, that's the button you press. And then we got an even faster one. Oh my gosh. And then we have a slow kind of fade, which is what I had it on before. And then we have another fade. And then there's a couple options down here, which actually allow it to go with music. So... Oh, hello? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Yo, it's going, it's going with my voice. <laughs> it is so hot in here, I'm sweating. I think the RGB lights are probably the coolest feature. This is giving me a headache. We're going back to a solid color. But guys, what do you think? This place is absolutely crazy. Fortnite is almost done updating, so. Seriously, this thing is so sick and, and it's very tiny in here. I mean, if I put down this camera, you can see that I'm sitting up right here and my shoulders are probably about four, five, inches from each side. So it's really, really tiny in here. If you were to squeeze another person in here, they would have to sit in front of you and then you wouldn't be able to see the screen. Or the person that could be playing the game could be sitting right here and you could kind of like peek around them or something. <laughs> But that's the whole point of this box for is to make it the world's smallest and see how many things we can fit in it. And we were able to fit a mini fridge, a gaming PC, a 27 inch monitor, tons of RGB lights and still have enough room to almost lay down. I think we actually can lay down. Hold on, let me try and lay down here. Oh, oh my gosh, no way. Okay, we can, we can kind of lay down. My head is touching the back and my feet are touching the wall in front. So that means across this box for is about five and a half feet tall because that's about how tall I am. This thing is so sick, this is so sick. I don't want to get out, but it's also so, I don't know why it's so hot in here. It's probably the mixture of the mini fridge and the PC. They're just generating so much heat. Next box for we make, we will definitely have to put like a fan in here or something because I am literally sweating. This is so sick. All right, let's go ahead and head out. Let's go ahead and open our little door here. Oh, it is so much colder out here. Guys, just check that out. It is just crazy. That is so, so cool. I would absolutely love to make more box fort videos on the channel. Let me know in the comment section below what type of box fort should I make because I don't really have any ideas other than this one. And we still have a ton of boxes left. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We still have eight boxes left and I think it only took us one, two, three, four, five, maybe six boxes to make this box fort. So we still have eight boxes left and of course I can buy more as well. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. This was a ton of fun to make. This only took me about an hour and a half, almost two hours to make this thing. And that's also with, you know, taking a little bit of an eating break and uh, using the restroom a couple times. But if you end up making a box for it at your house, take a picture of it and tag me in it on either Instagram or Twitter. And I'll definitely like and reply to your tweet or picture. I just can't stop looking at how ridiculous this looks. You look at the front of it, like all the duct tape and everything. And you're like, wow, this is like really ugly. Then you go on the inside and you're just like, never mind. This is actually pretty sick. <laughs> Seriously though, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a safe and fantastic rest of your day, and I'll be seeing you guys not tomorrow, but the next day in a brand new vlog.